Okay, check this out. There's something that I must say. All right, I know my singing is not the greatest. I get it, but there's definitely something that I just gotta say. Today, I'm going to discuss the top three social media mistakes that network marketers make. Now, don't you go looking around talking about who she talking to because I might just be talking to you. Now, don't get your undies in a bunch because I'm not even here to jump all on your back because at the end of the day, truth be told, I made some of those same mistakes myself when I got started. Mm, so there's that. So not only am I gonna tell you what those three social media mistakes are, but I'm also going to tell you how to avoid them. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm D Car Lady, calling out of North Carolina, baby. All right, and this channel is all about what I call the three M's of entrepreneurship. That is the mindset, the marketing, and multiple streams of income, baby. So if that's what you're looking for, you're definitely in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, right there. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, baby. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So you're out there posting on, on Facebook, right, on social media, and you're pretty much just doing what your upline told you, you know, or maybe you're just following what you see other people post. Well, no worries. We're going to go ahead and alert you of these mistakes that you're making and show you how to fix them. All right. Mistake number one, don't use the company name or your product name on social media. That is a big no, no. What happens is when you start saying your company name right on your social media, on your posts um, and your Facebook lives, people then, instead of reaching out to you about that company, they get curious, right? We're curious beings, right? So they go get to Google in it, baby, and they wind up on Google finding everybody else's article about it. Maybe they even see something that's disparaging, something that's like, oh no don't join this before you watch this or oh no don't join this because it's a scam right all of that type of stuff and they totally forget about you you know and another thing they wind up googling and then what happens is they wind up on youtube okay because youtube is owned by google follow me now so instead of coming back talking to you they start seeing other people's videos like mine right and other YouTube promoters right and then what happens you pretty much just gave away your traffic to the rest of us youtubers and yeah while that's good for us that kind of leaves you looking like so what can you do instead all right so instead of talking about the company name you know how when you join a network marketing um, opportunity right you typically join with a sponsor that has a team okay now if you guys don't already have a team name that you can use how about you come up with a really cool team name and you can use that team name on social media because at the end of the day people actually like to be a part of a team a part of a family right so if you guys have a cool team name name like team level up or team superstars whatever it is you can then start leveraging that team name in your post instead of saying oh this is an awesome company this is awesome company by the name of XYZ right it's like hey instead it's like hey look we're adding more people to our team level up if you want to be one of our team superstars then you definitely want to connect with us that's just an example. Let me show you an example of how I actually leverage my team name instead of using the company name. Check this out. All right, now check this post out right here. Here's a post that I have scheduled to go out. It says, man, my bro has been freaking on fire, y'all. Another AMA VIP team coaching member. Okay, so I'm leveraging the team name AMA VIP team. 
Okay, instead of me saying the name of the business opportunity that is pictured here, I leverage the team name. So that way when people see this post, they have no clue, right, what company I'm talking about. And also, they they actually realize that, hey, if I decided to join, you know, D Car Lady in this particular opportunity, I will be a part of an actual team, an actual family. So that way they'll know that they're not going to be just kind of left alone to their own devices. There's a whole family of people. That is what people get from this post when they see it with the team name versus the company name. And you can do the same. Now the next mistake, mistake number two has to do with, you know, when you first join a network marketing opportunity, right? And you're so excited. So you want to go all around town, right? Well, virtually, okay? Telling everybody about the awesome products and services that the company offers. So you really wind up being like a glorified spokesperson, an unpaid spokesperson, might I add, because the company is not paying you to go around being their spokesperson, okay? So you wind up having like every post that you put on social media, on your Facebook, about the company's products and the services you know that you promote you're always talking about the company so you literally have become the company's number one spokesperson so guys don't be the company's spokesperson do this instead now keep in mind that the purpose of social media is really to socialize right so with your post you want to give people the opportunity to get to know like and trust you I know you've probably heard that term before right no like and trust right so you want to mix in some posts that are about your lifestyle some entertainment and even some funny posts that give people an opportunity to really kind of get to know you on a personal level now let me show you an example of a kind of funny post that I made that's giving people an opportunity to get to know me outside of business Let's check it out. All right, here's a post here that I made on my Facebook wall. All right, I said, just learn how to make masks out of socks. Creativity is endless, y'all. All right, and here you see a funny picture of me. Um, I had literally made a mask, right? Cause you know, we're going through the Corona thing, right? So I literally made a mask out of a sock and I'm showing it here, right? So this is, you know, really giving people a an insight to my funnier side, right? And my creative side, but also my funnier side, right? So this is literally not a post trying to sell anyone anything or promoting a company. This is a way to allow people to get to know me a little bit more personal and you see people absolutely enjoyed that post. So at the end of the day, you know, you want to, if I had to put a percent on it, you want to have, as far as like a promotional post, you know, maybe about 20%, you know, 20 or 30% worth of promotional posts, you know, where you are, you know, promoting, you know, the product and everything. You're still not mentioning the company, but you, you know, you may be promoting it. But the other, you know, 70 or 80% of the time, you want to put up posts, you know, with value, with uh, lifestyle, you know, funny posts, things of that nature that give a person an idea of if they decide to do business with you, the actual type of person that they'll be doing business with gives them an insight to you and lastly that brings me to mistake number three not being consistent yeah that's right you thought I was gonna leave that one out didn't you no I'm not leaving that out consistency is a big deal guys if you want your business to pay you like a business right not like a little side gig or side hustle right you really want to make some money then if you want it to treat you that way then you have to treat your business like a business that means you have to show up consistently like for instance let's say you know if you're posting you know once a day for a week right and then the next two weeks you're like m.i.a you know people are like oh my gosh what happened to this person they pretty much will forget about you just like that then basically they're not going to take you seriously and i mean can you really blame them think about it when you were looking to join a business opportunity right you were looking for someone who you felt that would be there in the trenches with you that wouldn't just you know get you to sign up and then pew, pew, 
peel off on you, right? That would actually be there. So when you're showing that you're being consistent in your business, you're letting everyone else know that, hey, if you decide to do business with D Car Lady, D Car Lady is going to be there for the long haul, not going to just kind of take your money and leave you in the lurch, right? So that's the that's the whole mindset that you want to have. So that way, the people who are following you, your potential prospects, will understand that you are there till the end, baby. So to sum this all up, all right, just keep these things in mind. You want to show up consistently. You want to brand yourself or the team over the company. And you want to lead with value on your post instead of just doing a whole bunch of promoting. Pretty simple, right? Now with these three tips on avoiding these social media mistakes, you're ready to take your biz to new heights, baby. And if you like this content and you want to get in on the action and learn even more from me, you definitely want to go ahead and be inside my Facebook group, Advanced Marketers Academy Social Edition. That'll be the first link in the description. Crush it, baby. So you can go ahead and join the action with us and learn even more tips about your social media, your marketing. So that way you can go ahead and get your business on the right track and start crushing it. If you have found this video on the top three social media mistakes helpful, then definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And you already know, crush that bell, baby, so you can be alerted the next time I come out with some content because I'm definitely bringing it to you guys every single week. All right, other than that, you already know what we're going to do, what we're going to do. Say it with me now. Let's take the ride to the top, baby. All right, and we at.